Hey guys, I'm Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We're in Berlin, Germany at the Holy Grail Guitar Show talking to Jort from Red Layer Guitars. Jort, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. This is your first show, right? First, first show ever, not just first Holy Grail guitar show, first show. First show ever, yeah. Been in the, behind the, the camera a lot, ma making photos of my own stuff, but now people are uh, really looking at my stuff, so it's kind of nerve-wracking sometimes. <laughs> That's cool, yeah. congrats. It's kind of hard to get into this show, so congratulations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I actually made it my goal to get in here. So uh, two years ago I visited, and I thought this is, this is where I want to be next year. They skipped uh, 2017. So I had to do, uh, I had a bit uh, more time to finish up some builds I wanted to make, and uh, here I am. Sweet. Now you guys are based in Amsterdam, right? Yeah. And are, are you a one person outfit right now, or are you, do you have other people working for you? Or? It's all me, it's a one man, uh, one man job, yeah. Cool. And we've got, you brought Rick here to play for us. Rick, thanks for coming. Thanks. Um, all right, George, tell us about this guitar. What's it called? And uh, This is the Juggernaut. It's an uh, eight string. I called it uh, Textures, but I kind of got a spelling error in it that I left, uh, left in there. <laughs> um, this is pretty much how I called the project when I was working on it. And uh, it's basically just an uh, eight string a uh, multi-scale guitar with a 29.4 to a 27.5 uh, scale length that are uh, in there. Uh, the main focus was in the beginning on the fretboard. I made the fretboard first um, and then I designed the rest of the guitar around it. So were those inlays or? Yes, those are actual the Zirikote wood. The dark wood is inlaid into the uh, lighter uh, bird's eye maple, and it's also the the top of the guitar body. The zero coat is on the top. Yeah, yeah. So it's uh, I'm not sure if it's from the same piece of wood, but it's the same wood. And uh, the inlays actually um, are made uh, so that the that the um, the texture of the uh, zero coat is flowing from one. Uh, if you look really closely, you can see that the texture in the grain is just continuously going. So it's not really random, it's just uh, that's some of the things that I wanted to uh, show off. In this, uh, you mean from like here, you yeah. can see the grain yeah. go down and yeah. even though there's... The pieces that are further away are actually cut uh, at that part of the, of the wood. Like you had one long single piece and you cut the little parts where they would have been on the single piece. Also the, the big largest piece that's actually inlaid over the small uh, bird eye, bird's eye maple dots. So the dots, the smaller ones, they're not replaced again. The whole sericot is fit over them. So yeah. That's pretty intricate. Yeah, 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 it is. But that's the, the fun of it. So you have to... Do you have to use like computer yeah. program to scan everything to super microscopic accuracy? Pretty much, yeah. I use a CNC for all my inlay work. Uh, that's kind of my favorite tool. Mm -hmm. uh, also means that you have to draw a lot on the computer, which is I can spend hours doing that, and this is the final result. Uh, it's almost like playing a video game and creating stuff that you think of and trying to draw that uh, onto your computer and then have a machine cut it for you. It's like a translation from thinking to something, uh, creating something that's really there. So that's pretty, pretty cool, I think. Impressive, yeah. Now the body, is it like a sandwich of Zirico and a couple other yeah. pieces? Um, because the fretboard has bird's eye maple in it, I wanted to have Bird's eye maple returning into the body, but is that the middle layer? Yeah, yeah. But there is a second, like a veneer, which breaks the contrast between the swamp ash and uh, bird's eye maple, because otherwise you wouldn't really notice it, I guess. So swamp ash on the back—that's the majority of the body, and then what's that small layer between? There's a, there's a walnut veneer walnut. in between, just to break the contrast between the two woods. The swamp ash, walnut, bird's eye, maple, and then the zero coat yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's hollowed out, so it's a hollow body. 
I was so gonna ask that, and this little vent thing that's not just no. like cosmetic. No, it's uh, to sh actually to show that it's uh, hollow body, I guess. Where are the chambers? Are they? Uh, um, they are sectioned in, in quadrants, I guess. There's uh, the place where the pick, uh, the bridge is. Of course, there's it's not hollow there, but around it, and also there's like uh, like a little platform that make sure that the strap lock, um, the screw of the strap lock at the bottom is uh, attached to uh, some some real wood instead of a hollow chamber. Um, Very cool. What are the pickups? The pickups are uh, the Lundgren uh, M8. Basically, uh, Johan Lundgren made them for me uh, in the, this specific angle, which is a 25, the, the bridge pickup is a 25 degrees angle and it compensates, uh, it's, it's more than the bridge. The bridge is 21 degrees, but because of the intonation, the saddles go a big, bit more back. So I wanted to overcompensate the bridge pickup angle with the uh, actual bridge. And the neck pickup is a M8 as well, um, 11 degrees, I, I think. So you wanted, like on the bridge pickup, you wanted to get a little crisper response on the bass strings, but lighten, not, have it be too bright on the treble strings? Uh, I guess that's that's what it uh, that's what the outcome is. But I wanted to have the because the the eighth string, the the, the biggest string, the saddle is going way more back than uh, so it's compensated with the uh, okay. should be the same amount um, of of space between the starting point of the string and the oh, from where the saddles have been adjusted to. So not yeah. to no, the not body, the not to the body of the bridge, but the actual saddle yeah. placement. Yeah, yeah, that's that's it. Cool. Yeah. Um, should we hear a couple other settings? Uh, were you which pickup were you playing originally? Uh, bridge pickup. No, F first the neck or well, did you did you say bass or bridge? Bridge, okay. <laughs> bridge pickup. <Sorry>. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, we pl played on the bridge pickup first, and uh, I could do can do a bit on the neck pickup now. And then maybe in the middle too. Yeah. Cool. George, do you want to tell people where to go online to check out your all your other instruments? Um, Instagram at Red Layers, uh, Red Layer Guitars. Uh, Facebook, same Red Layer Guitars, and uh, my new website's coming up at RedLayerGuitars.com. Cool. Thanks, George. Thanks, Rick. Thanks for joining us, guys. I'm Sean Hammond for PremierGuitar.com.